Today is Brent and Siobhan. Today we're watching Avatar The Last Airbender Season 3, Episode 8. Fire! Water. What? <laughs> the Puppet Master is who? That's creepy as hell, with, especially with that music. Did you hear? Ew, I don't like that. Stop. <laughs> it's Full Moon. Werewolf! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Don't, you don't have to try so hard. <laughs> Southern Water Tribe story. It happened to Mom. Mm. A snowstorm buried the whole village for weeks. A month later, Mom realized she hadn't seen her friend Nini since the storm. Mom stayed in the house. When she was alone, she heard a voice. It's so cold, and I can't get warm. Mom turned and saw Nini standing by the fire. She was blue, like she was frozen. But sometimes people see smoke coming up from the chimney. Like little Nini is still trying to get warm. <laughs> Poor Nini. Give this girl a blanket. <laughs> have you ever a ghost story? Yeah. No, but you have. <laughs> I knew where that was going. She saw a ghost. No. She okay. It felt the presence of a it ghost. Touched my head and it knocked on my door. And one other thing. What else? Oh, rattled the doorknob. It was very weird. Why didn't a ghost choose me? <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. That's Imagine being <laughs> woken up to like tap tap. No thanks. <laughs> if you've ever had a ghost story, comment down below. Or do you believe in ghosts? Do you believe in ghosts? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Why not, man? I don't know. I mean, if I didn't, then I was just losing my mind when I was dealing with the ghost. Then, you know. Yeah. I hear people under the mountain, and they're screaming. Like they're buried? It just stopped. All right, now I'm getting scared. <laughs> Hello, children. <laughs> Oh, Nini? Sorry to frighten you. My name is Hama. Oh. You children shouldn't be out in the forest by yourselves at night. I have an inn nearby. Why don't you come back there for some spiced tea and warm beds? That sounds really nice, but she's giving extremely creepy vibes. It's her demeanor. Is she a ghost? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I really wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> or is she the puppet master? She looks nice, but the way she was talking. Thanks for letting us stay here tonight. She's Come blue. Wait, uh -oh. I can't see. She looks like the pallor of a ghost. <laughs> People have been disappearing in those woods you were camping in. When the moon turns full, people walk in <laughs> and they don't come out. Don't worry, you'll all be completely safe here. Why don't I show you to your rooms and you can get a good night's rest? No, she sleep in the same room. <laughs> what were you saying? Oh, they've got separate rooms. Yeah, I'm scared. I don't like this. Maybe they're disappearing because she's making them Yeah, that's disappear. what I was thinking. Oh. <laughs> but then I think that's too obvious. No? Yeah. I know, Momo. This place is creepy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fall asleep. <sighs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe that's a good thing, but... <laughs> wakey, wakey. Eggs and Time baby. to go shopping. Ooh. Right. Tomorrow's the full moon. Exactly. I can't lose another delivery boy in the woods. People disappearing in the woods, weird stuff during full moons, this just reeks of spirit world shenanigans. And then you can sew up this little mystery lickety split avatar style. Let's do some recon, people. This is a mysterious little town you have here. Mysterious town for mysterious children. <laughs> <laughs> that Hama seems a little strange. Like, she knows something. Okay, yeah, I think she's gonna be good. But what did she mean by that comment, mysterious children? Maybe because she found four strange kids camping in the woods at night? Isn't that a little mysterious? I'm gonna take a look around. Does she know what's up with them? Oh, we Sokka? can Sokka, what are you doing? You can't just <gasps> snoop around someone's house. Puppets. It'll be fine. Where are the Sokka, puppets? you're gonna get us all in trouble. And That's a lot of empty room. Oh, it's an inn. <laughs> I was like, those are suspiciously empty rooms. <laughs> I'm not finished yet. <laughs> it's <Come> locked. <laughs> okay, that's pretty creepy. Now, if they were sock puppets, would we be as scared? <laughs> no. We don't need that. Yeah, no, not a <laughs> chance. Why does she have a locked door up here? Probably oh. to keep people like you from snooping through her stuff. Well, people aren't allowed to have locks anymore. No privacy. Both of my bedrooms. Don't have locks, and I hate it. 
That's like the worst. I feel way nice. less secure. <laughs> With not having a lock. Do your guys' rooms have locks? That's a weird question to ask. <laughs> yeah. Don't answer that. Yeah. <laughs> it's empty except for a little chest. <gasps> Maybe it's treasure. You're breaking into a private room. I have to see what's in there. With the sword? How's that gonna work? <laughs> it's a big lock. I guess. I don't know, man. Good job. You shouldn't be doing mm. this. Maybe there's a key here somewhere. Oh, hand it over. Or a tiny sword. <laughs> uh oh. It's her space bracelet. Come on, come oh. on. This isn't as easy as it looks. I'll tell you what's in the box. Little children bones. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Photo? Something very underwhelming. <laughs> a comb. An old comb? It's my greatest treasure. You made out of bones? <laughs> it looks like a water tribe thing. What, is she blue? water tribe undercover? No, I don't know. It's the last thing I own from growing up in the southern water tribe. I freaking knew it. She <laughs> probably came here because it's not cold. <laughs> Probably to get to the heat. <gasps> oh, you're right. It is her probably. You're from the southern water tribe? Just like you. I heard you talking around your camp. I bought all this food today so I could fix you a big water tribe dinner. I guess we don't know for sure that it's her, but also I like that I called you water tribe. You're a waterbender. I've never met another waterbender from our tribe. That's because the Fire Nation wiped them all out. I was stolen from my home. We did our best to hold them off, but our numbers dwindled as the raids continued. Then she outlasted them all. They put us in terrible prisons here in the Fire Nation. I was the only one who managed to escape. How did you get away? And why did you stay in the Fire Nation? And why? You got all those puppets. Real question. <laughs> I'd like to teach you what I know so you can carry on the Southern tradition when I'm gone. Aww, that's so sweet. I've even used my own sweat for water bending. That's very resourceful, Katara. But did you know you can even pour water out of thin air? Makes sense. You've got to keep an open mind, Katara. There's water in places you never think about. That was like scaring me for a second. Yeah, but that was so cool. I start from the air. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Can you tell us anything about the spirit that's been stealing people? Uh, no. Ben. <laughs> Only one man ever saw it and lived. And that's old man Ding. Wow. Ooh. These flowers are beautiful. I met a waterbender who lived in a swamp and could control the vines by bending the water inside. You can take it even further. <laughs> Wow. That was incredible. When you're a waterbender in a strange land, you do what you must to survive. Okay. She's really bending the water in a person. Like, she's kind of creeping me out a little bit. She's kind of starting to creep me out, too. Damn, <laughs> was I wrong? She's probably fine, but she's probably had to do some things, you know? It's definitely done something to her. Tonight, I'll teach you the ultimate technique of waterbending. It can only be done during the full moon. Oh, f she is the thing that's been taking the blood, people. The blood bend can blood bend blood. Somebody said something about bending blood once. Really? Yeah. Is oh that... my god! What? Do you think she can like control people <gasps> with the blood? Oh, that's creepy as hell, bro. This is a spooky <laughs> episode if that's true. I thought people have been disappearing around here during the full moon. Oh, Katara. Two master waterbenders beneath a full moon. Claw. I don't think we have anything to worry about. And that also makes sense that it would be at its peak at a full moon because, like, it controls the tides, the moon. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared, bro. Old man Ding? Huh? Oh. Oh. Dude, why does everyone call me that? I'm not that old. Man Ding. Oh. M my man Ding. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Didn't see no spirit. Just felt something come over me, like I was possessed. Forced me to start walking toward the mountain. Couldn't control my own limbs. The sun started to rise, and I got control of myself again. It was like he was the last take of the night, and then it was dawn. Oh, God. I did hear people screaming under the mountain. The missing villagers must still be there. What is this? Like, revenge? Because she got taken? So now she's taken their people? Ooh, this this is spooky as hell. I feel like it's Halloween. <laughs> this is an interesting episode. <laughs> I think he was explaining exactly what I was thinking with the moving, like a puppet. I can hear them. They're this 
this way. Katara. <gasps> I mean, she's safe. She's safe. <laughs> but like, it's okay. But like, she's a dangerous lady. But I don't think she's gonna hurt Katara. Not so, unless she like tries to stop her, maybe. That's true. But like, she's not gonna target Katara. Yeah. On purpose. For generations, it has blessed waterbenders with its glow, allowing us to do incredible things. Yeah, that's good. I've nice. never felt more alive. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Shaking, bro. Oh no. Y'all found the wrong lair before. This is it. <laughs> yeah. Like, Mr. Activist thinks she was okay. <laughs> oh god. We're saved. I didn't know that spirits made prisons like this. It They're not figuring it out fast enough. Uh, who would have motive to control people's bodies? Well, they can't think that. They don't th know that's a possibility. Okay. But, uh... A witch? What do you mean? She seems like a normal old woman, but she controls people like some dark puppet master. Hama! You Yo. go! What's she even trying to do with them? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. What I'm about to show you. I discovered in that wretched Fire Nation prison there had to be something I could do to escape. The rats were nothing more than skins filled with liquid. And I passed years developing the skill that would lead to my escape. Blood bending. Controlling the water in another body. Once I had mastered the rats, I was ready for the men. Ew. I walked free for the first time in decades. <laughs> My cell unlocked by decades. I mean, at that point, I guess you kind of want to do whatever you could yeah. to get out. Yeah, yeah. No, this is fine. Yeah, Getting this out, is this fine. fine. But what she's doing now is kind of freaky. Okay, like this isn't <laughs> good, but like she needs to get out, and she's not like she's killing them. But like that's still not good to. This is like in Harry Potter with the what's it called? That one curse yeah. thing that you can control people. But to reach inside someone and control them? I don't know if I want that kind of power. We're the last waterbenders of the Southern Tribe. We have to fight these people whenever we can. You're the one who's making people disappear during the full moon. They threw me in prison to rot, along with my brothers and sisters. They deserve the same. <laughs> you must carry on my work. I won't. You're scaring me. Katara, just agree. This lady can control you. Like, get, like, run! <laughs> I, like, you don't have to mean it. Yeah. Oh my God, she's getting a vampire. Uh, yeah, this is scary as hell. <laughs> Won't allow you to keep terrorizing this town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the way her hands are moving. You're not the only one who draws power from the moon. Woo! <laughs> what you do? Oh. You've outnumbered yourselves. Oh my god. Oh, shit. Dora, look out! <laughs> Imagine Sokka murders his sister. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's so creepy. That trauma. That's so weird. I'm sorry, Em. It's okay. Turn around. <laughs> it's okay. I don't think we have time for apologies right now. And don't let them hurt each other. <laughs> Lady, you're so dumb. You need him. Yeah. She doesn't know this, but you need this. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> She's bloodbending. <laughs> doesn't feel so good, I guess. Ugh, <laughs> that makes me feel gross. Yep. And you're going to be locked away forever. My work is done. Congratulations, Katara. You're a bloodbender. <laughs> uh, only you stood on you. She had to do what she had to do. I guess she just wanted to force her to do it. I don't know what this crazy lady <laughs> wants. <laughs> that was dark as hell. <laughs> Woo. Thoughts. Holy guacamole. That yeah. was a bit intense. I mean, yeah, if you think about it though, there's like a water everywhere. Yeah. I knew she was creepy. I thought they were trying to throw us off. As soon as I saw the veins though, I knew that she was controlling people with with the blood. Are we gonna ha get more closure from that? Or is that just like, she's locked up now? Um, I and Katara bloodbend. And Katara's gonna maybe need to do it later. I don't know. I don't know if she'll do it. If it were like to save her brother or Aang. Oh yeah, yeah I Toph. guess so. But also, that obviously did something to her. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next week with another video. Bye. Bye. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so.